player. Because your vision is our vision. Hey guys, we've got a fun little homebrew game to check out today. Uh, a lot of you out there who know me personally know that one of my other hobbies besides video games is I'm really into model railroading. Uh, I've always loved model railroading ever since I was very small. I think I got my first train set. I believe I was five or six. Got it for Christmas. It was a mechanical wind-up train set. Picture right here. Show me getting it as a kid. From there, I evolved into getting a Lionel train and also got a hold of, you know, HO scale. I've modeled heavily in HO scale. I currently have one of my engines still in my collection. It's a big old uh, Challenger engine. It has sound, all kinds of neat stuff on it. It's a really cool little engine. But on the ColecoVision system, there was a game release back in 2009. It actually was a demo. It was done by PKK. Uh, he's over on the Atari age. It was called Shunting Puzzle. And basically it was a railroad game where you would move cars around and put them, and put them into their destinations, like either build a train or or shuttle cars around to certain warehouses, things like that. Classic model railroading stuff that you would do uh, when you're doing model railroading. Really well done on the ColecoVision. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, you can still get the cartridge, I believe, from Good Deal Games. However... If you have a ColecoVision flashback, one of these little bad boys right here, it's actually included on the flashback system as well. So this nice little guy right there. This is the Dollar General version. It's also on the regular version as well, the 60 games in one. If you look on the back, right on here, right there it is. Shunting Puzzle. Awesome. So... Let's give the game a try. There's four different puzzles on this game. Unfortunately, one of them is broken. Uh, you can't switch the switch when you're trying to go around on this one on this one uh, layout. So I couldn't do that one, but I did do the other three. So let's take a look at this game, and I will probably substitute different music because the music that's included with the game gets kind of repetitive, a little monotonous. So I'll start off having the music play so you can hear it, and then I'll probably mute it and do something else while I continue playing the game. So let's check it out. First up, we'll try Ingle Nook. Now in this level, we have to assemble the train as you see across the top. So we have to have red, green, purple, I can't tell what color that is. Uh, light green and gray so I'm using my little engine the red car you see moving around to try to build this train now when you hit either buttons one or two you can actually switch the switches to decouple a train you have to hit your right fire button and you'll see a little cursor appear behind the engine then use your joy pad joystick to move over behind the car you want to decouple and hit the other fire button Back and forth, back and forth. Look. I think it's really neat that he put a, a train simulation on the ColecoVision. You don't see this very often on, on old consoles. This was kind of a neat idea. I wish there was more than four different levels. It'd be kind of neat to have this expanded on to have like other things you can do. Switch to switch. Back the train up. Bloop. Come on, decouple. Oops. There we go, get down there. Get down there. There we go. Decouple. Oops, went the wrong way. It's kind of hard to get used to the controls. here on the siding. Pop. 
There we go. Train complete and off the screen I go. Now it does randomize the level, so that makes it a replay value quite high. It's kind of kind of cool. Next up, we're going to try the Time Saver. In this level, I got to move the cars around to get the same color car to match the uh, loading platform. So I got a yellow car, a light blue car, a dark green car, and a light green car. And I got to move around this uh, yard here. You can see I'm flipping switches all over the place because I'm, I can't figure out what button does what on the controller. Oops. Makes you think. See, where can I put the car where? Where can I put this at so I can uh, get this to the other side? Whoop. Don't want to go that way. Man, I can't switch the switch because the car is sitting on top of it. Rats. A little farther forward. There we go. Get the yellow car position first. That'd be the easiest thing to do. If I could decouple from it, that is. There we go. And then I put the train on the other side. Now I can push it into position. There we go. So I got the yellow car at the yellow platform now. I'm thinking. I got that green car the way down there. Don't think I have enough room if I go up here. No, I don't think I will. Nope. Oops. Switch the switch. Ah. And let's go dump off this green car. Get out of the way. Hidden 
before the blue platform. Boop. All right. Now as I get the green car swapped to the top. On, switch. Oh, I saw that broom get up there. I gotta get this blue car out of the way. Okay, now. Oops. green car. If I get the switch flipped. There we go. Then I can push it into position. Bam. All right. Now let's go get the light green car.
Come on, switch, flip. Too close to the switch. Couldn't flip the switch. Now I got it. Crazy blue car all the way again. Let's give Great Northern a try. This is the one that's busted. Now you're supposed to swap the green and blue wagons from side to side. Problem is the switch at the very top, you can't switch when you got your engine up there. There's just not enough room. So this level is pretty much unwinnable. I'm gonna give it a good college try though. side but now I can't flip the switch let's go get the blue car so now I'm thinking well maybe I'm good from the other way so I'll try from the other direction here in a second It's a bummer. Can't win this level. Man. Uh, okay, let's move on. So the last level here we have is called Swap. Now in this one, we have to move the cars 
from side to side. I put the green car next to the green dot and the blue car at the loading platform. I have is how do I get the green engine on the other side to get off the screen? Ugh. Let's see. Let's see here. Come on, decouple. There we go. Okay, I think I got this now. speech and bam I've done it actually it's a really fun game I, I really enjoy this like I said earlier I wish they made more levels this is awesome thanks for watching you are the player because your vision is our vision the player Yeah.
player.